Good morning. Welcome to Rejoice with Jeannie. Today I'm on here. Just going to get on here and talk for a little while with things that's going on and how we have to continue to press our way through the pain. And um, on the menu today, I have a couple of eggs over easy. And then I have bacon. And then I have this here. This is like a fried tortilla. I love that. I just cook that in the bacon drippings and put a little garlic and pepper herbs on that as well. But I came on here to say I hope all is well, even if it's not all is well. You know, because the days and times that we are in right now, you know, we all need to get together. We all need to come together more and just put out on your platform, get get out on your YouTube channel, you know, go encourage somebody, something positive in their ear, you know, what they can be doing, how they can change, how you can help them with their children, how... Um, what you can do, what do they need as far as financial, what bill could you pay, what type of food could you pay, What could you, how could you help charity. You know, I was looking at a young lady on there, and I said that was beautiful, you know, how she was making food, and, you know, she was giving it out to the homeless, and she went to the pantry herself, you know, to... Um, get food to give out to the homeless. So that's humbling herself to even stand in line that long time. I'm quite sure everybody done been to a pantry. I know I have. I have three kids. I've been to a pantry in my younger years. And if I ever needed to go again, I would go. But I have stand in lines and got stuff, you know, through this pandemic what they was giving out to people, um, trucks and trucks and full of it. So I loaded up my truck as much as I can. I mean, talking about big cases of things I was getting. And what I did with that, I distributed out to different neighbors and families that I knew that would be in need of it. And, you know, some people that with mental illness, you know, some homeless people, some people that even that had homes, you know, so I don't try to you know, put nobody out. Even sometimes people can have a home, but they can don't have nothing, you know. You don't know what type of position they in. They can be in a position far as, you know, they have some type of drug problem. They lost their job, you know. Things just not good with them financially. So you don't know what type of help a person might need. A person might be going through a divorce, a person might be going through anything, you know, going through their child in jail. You see, that's why we always see, you know, to look to our sisters and brothers and see if they need a, do they need a help. Or sometimes, you know, God will lay it on your heart and it's something that you could do, you know, strictly from your heart, you know. And the main thing, you do it for man. You don't, I mean, you don't do it for man. You do it from your heart because it's, you want to do right. You want to do good. You want to do something to help this person. It's, it's, it's a time and a place that you have to stop playing like um, I'm doing this I'm from the goodness of my heart. And it's not really coming from a good place. You know, it's time, you know, that we do things that's coming from our heart. And things to please God our Father. Because, you know, you just think about what he did to please us. And, you know, I figured I would get on here and talk about that today. You know, how we should help one another, you know, and push them, you know. Because once they get pushed and keep being pushed, sometimes people have to push them. It's like sometimes you have to be in the back of them, pushing them. You know, have you ever been with your friend so tired going up a big hill, and then your friend just get in the back of you and just start pushing you, helping you so you can make it up that hill? Well, it's people now that you need to push, 
you know, till they get to the next level and let them know that they okay and they can make it. But you just got to push. You know, we have to push ourselves as well. It's a lot of times, you know, um, through this pandemic, I haven't felt like getting out, getting up, you know, and doing a lot of things that I wanted to, you know, getting stagnated and stuff like that. And God don't want us to be like that. He want us to be up, ready, you know, always ready. You know, you never know when somebody's going to knock on your door. They're going to need you to come to their house and pray for somebody. They're going to call you, you know. And when you're like that, you're not going to be the mindset to, to want to do anything. So, you know, we just got to press our way through the pain, you know. And I know I say you know all the time. It's a habit. Y'all probably know that by now. But you just keep pressing through the pain. And you just know that, um, you know, just like God did it for you before, he'll do it for you again. But let's just take a little minute to be selfless. And keep the focus off ourselves, and just focus on one person this week. One person this week and helping them this week to get through the week. It don't matter what. One day could be a phone call. One good day could be a little gift. One day could be a penny. One day could be a bag of candy. You know, one day could be a pair of underwear. One day could be a bar of soap. One day could be a bottle of water. You know. One day it could be a towel. One day it could just be anything to help that person out, you know. And even if they do have it, that one day what you did in that one week, you know, you will feel good about it yourself that you did something to help somebody. And it will give you that push to want to do more and do better. You know, don't, don't everybody want God to heal the land? He want us to humble ourselves, you know, no matter how hard or how good we may think we have it right now because other people is worse than that that we are in but I'm going to tell you you should be thanking God that he covered you and that you're covered by the blood that it didn't the tax didn't hit your house but a lot of households you know got affected through this and it's not over yet it's not over yet and um, we have to be there we have to be there you know, we really have to be there for one another in times like this because it's not easy. You know, when you have to stay in the house, you go on vacation. Like right now, I'm on 14 days quarantine just because I went to visit my mother in Florida, you know, because she was in the hospital all this well now, though. But the thing about it is I had to come back and humble myself and be in um quarantine but you have to do what you have to do now I did get out one of the days and I have to get out another day because I have to go to my doctor's appointment but they just said to let them know that I have to go so they can say that they didn't want to see me or not you know I guess when you go on a plane they when you coming from Orlando where I was coming from coming back into Syracuse New York that made me had to go and so they if you don't uh, text back what they do is they have you they'll call you so that's fine with me and I understand you know we just gotta help one another some people don't have masks they don't need know the importance of having the mask sometimes people need that extra education instead of frowning your face at the people and saying how they look and how they smell and things like that. Look at them as you look at yourself. And give people the things that you would eat. Don't give people stuff that you wouldn't eat. You know, I remember my pastor used to say that when he used to tell us, you know, to bring things in to people. He said, if you wouldn't wear it, don't bring it, you know, to church for somebody else. If you wouldn't eat it, don't bring that to somebody. He said, bring the name brand and stuff, in which, you know, that makes a lot of sense, you know, and um, I just love to love on people, and I like uh, people to just put a smile on their face, you know, that they could feel that they're loved, and even sometime, you know, 
when this get all better, you know, just give one of those homeless people a hug. Give them a homeless, you know. That hurt me to my heart. When I seen one of my friends, she was so depressed for years, she remembered who I was. But this particular time, she was like linked over. I guess, I don't know if it's the medication doing like that, but she was at the point that she, she was linked over. She may be a few years younger than me. And I'm not nowhere near as linked over. But she's on medication. And she's depressed. And sometimes that depression can get you to a state that you're all the way down. That you feel that you don't need to look up to the hills which coming for your help. And our help coming from the Lord. Somebody just need to whisper in somebody else's ear. There's an easier, softer way. That God can change these things. That's why I love to tell people. God did these things for me. He changed my life tremendously. 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 And I thank God for it. And I embrace him for it. I'm glad that I was in the dark. You know. But he pulled me up out of the pit. He pulled me up out of that pit. And into the pulpit. And I'm able to sit out here to minister to my sisters and brothers. And you don't have to have a, a, a title under your belt. You don't have to have a piece of paper. I have those. But you don't have to have all of those. You know, I'm still being schooled. You know, I'm remaining teachable. I'm still trying to learn a lot of words I can't pronounce. A lot of words I'm still trying to pronounce. But, um... I'm trying. The thing about it is when you're trying, and you're trying to go forward with the Word, you know, never refuse the Word of God when somebody is trying to tell you. You know, just open up your ears and open your heart and receive it and marinate on it. Well, that's going to be it for me today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out the Word. And, you know, just keep on pressing. You're going through some pressure way through it. This is so delicious, you guys. You guys got to mm, see the bread is so crunchy. Look. See that bread? Mmm, yum. Mm, mm, mm. You can hear it. Mm, mm, mm. Really good. It's so crunchy. And then, Lord bless the food in Jesus' name. I know I did all that praying, but um, Lord bless it, you know. Mm, look at that. Yummy. I just like for my egg. Mmm, this is so good, y'all. Mmm. I would have liked for them to be a little <clears throat> more runnier. This one got a little runny and to go at my bread. But that's okay because this bread tastes so good. Y'all see it close up? Mmm, 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 mmm. I just got salt and pepper in them egg. Mmm. And I cooked this as I was frying my bacon. Mm, 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 excuse me. Mm. Mm. This is so good, down. Mm. thing I gotta make me is some little coffee. Let me look it up. Look at that. And shout out to Eyeshadow. She always come down and visit my page. God bless you. If I didn't say your whole name right, I'll make sure I get it right the other day, the next time. Well, God bless you and shout out to her.
Go check her out. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> this is mm. This is good. Well, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, got some little stuff going on here. Let me get this from. I love to eat y'all, but I'm going to tell you the most important thing is to me of a word encouraging my sisters and brothers. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Love, peace, and joy. To the next time, my blessed baby.